This is the daily video update for Friday, October 16th, 2020 for the Unitarian Church of Lincoln. I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. We've been talking this week about listening, both for the stories that aren't there and the ones that are in our community. I mentioned in the sermon last week that one of the reasons that we stay in churches is because this is a place that will tell our stories after we're gone where the stories of each of us as individuals join with the story of a community that lasts for generations. That's a powerful motivator in our lives. It's also, I think, part of why we pledge to churches. So at the risk of sounding like NET radio this week, we are in the midst of our fall pledge drive. Last year, 84% of the congregation's budget was dependent on congregational pledging. And that number will go up this year because rental income is simply not an option during the COVID-19 pandemic. Every part of the church, from our website to our worship services, to coordinating calls and visits in the congregation, Sunday school in a bag, video editing, training, staff health insurance, all of it, all of it is funded by member pledges. And in this coming year, in 2021, the board has identified three big goals. First, we're going to continue to expand our use of technology to serve the needs of the congregation in this moment and beyond. We've done a lot of that already. These updates are an example. Worship services on Thursday and Sunday are another. We're also working right now to make our website more accessible, more mobile friendly, and more of a portal for members to engage with the offerings that the church is putting out. In the coming year, we'd like to expand our setup and our skills to the point where we can live stream a worship service from our sanctuary. Because, second, in 2021, we intend to return to 6300 A Street once it's safe to do so. Now that's going to take some care, and because of that, it's a primary area of focus for us this week, this year. And part of that is recognizing that it's not going to be all or nothing. We'll probably have a period of time where it is safe for some people to be back in the building while others need to take more time. And that makes this question of live streaming and using technology well very important. And third, while we're doing these important but ultimately logistical pieces, We're also going to focus attention and resources on the work of dismantling white supremacy in ourselves and in our institutions. That is hard work and long overdue. You'll hear a little more on this as it relates to the story of our church on Sunday. None of these things happen simply because we want them to. They are the result of hours of work, paid and volunteer, the result of late nights with a pot of coffee and a whiteboard trying to figure out how to make it work. And yes, they are the result of financial support from the congregation. So here's the ask. Right now we're about halfway through the month that we've set aside for the pledge drive. And as of this morning, about 60 of our 240 pledge units have submitted a pledge. Now. That's actually not surprising. Many of us, myself included, often procrastinate on filling out the the pledge form until the last possible moment. But it actually is not written in Holy Scripture that you need to wait for the last week of a pledge drive in order to submit a pledge. In fact, you can fill it out right now. There's a link under this video to the pledge form on our website. If you haven't filled it out, now is a great time. If you're a member, Um, You should have gotten a letter with with, uh, more information and and what you pledged last year. You can also go on Realm, uh, our church database, to look up uh, what you've pledged in years past. And if you're watching this video on Saturday, and and YouTube actually tells me that many people watch our Friday uh, daily updates on Saturday, then take a moment to think about if this is a year that you can increase your pledge. Take some time to really think through that. Maybe talk to your family if you pledge jointly. And then whatever you decide, send in your pledge now and have that be a thing that you have accomplished this week. This is a strange year in the life of our congregation. Even 
in the midst of a global pandemic, we are still the church. We are still doing great things as a community. It is one of the joys of my life to be able to do this work with all of you. And I am so glad to know this church and know this community. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you on Sunday.